All right, folks, you're in for a treat today. I've got a special guest, Dave Prater. He is one of the owners of, you guessed it, Pyramid Acres. And if you come here for the guide trips, you know you're putting in right here. This is where you're going to get your minnows, your food. You're going to have a great time on a weekend. Everybody locally knows about Pyramid Acres, and they've just done a fantastic job. I said, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get Dave in the boat, and we're going to talk about Pyramid Acres, <clears throat> and you're going to learn a lot about that. And we're going to do some live scoping, active captain. So stick with us. We're going to put big fish in the boat. Here we go. All right. So probably the first thing I like to do is I like to throw a weight on there. So this is a number seven split shot. You can use your teeth or I've got some pliers for you. Okay. So get that going on there. And then we're going to go with a, a red hook. It can be a red, orange, pink. It don't matter as long as it contrasts with whatever body we're going to put on it. Which, okay. So there's your head. So that gives us that gives us two marks and that'll make it easy for us to follow on live scope. I think the morning bite lately has been with that, and then if we get we start getting a finicky bite, we'll move to the hair jigs. But they like movement for sure. All right, folks, we got a uh, special guest in the boat. We've got Dave Prater from Pyramid Acres. How you doing? I'm just should have brought my glasses. He's getting rigged up. We've got a beautiful uh, sunrise and. Uh, we're gonna have a beautiful day today. It's gonna to be a very hot one. I'm gonna show you a lot of live scope today. We're gonna to talk a lot about Pyramid Acres. That's a fantastic marina here on Lake of Egypt. Um, a lot of you that do come to this home lake, I know you go to Pyramid Acres and uh, get your soft drinks and all that great stuff. But we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna be putting live scope uh, in action today. I'm gonna to show you a lot of active captain on that. So that's my focus today is active captain. Talk about Pyramid Acres. Uh, introduce you to Dave Prater. And uh, yeah, beautiful day. Check it out. I mean, gosh, it doesn't get much better. You like that? You like that? You, you've gotten better as time goes, haven't you? <laughs> I can't see to put this on for me. I can't see it. Get you down to there, it is right there. Is that it? Start reeling. We'll find it. Get it in there. there you are, right here. Coming through. Now you can slow it down a little bit. Right there. Now, nice and consistent. Keep going. There you go. Boom. That's great. That's really good. That's really good. Yep. And there he is. First cast. Man has got a good eating fish in the boat. Yeah, Apparently, if you own a business on a lake, the fish are really friendly to you. <laughs> that's a good eater. Yeah, that's bigger than what I'm kidding. No keeping them? Nah, we ain't keeping them, he says. <laughs> oh, that's a good fish. First cast, there's probably only about two fish on there. He got one. Well, it doesn't hurt when I got a guy that says cast there, reel now, set hook. <laughs> Slow it down. <laughs> yeah. When you're being guided in there, yep. There is another one right there. I can do that. Feet right there. So Dave, tell me about uh, Pyramid Acres. When did you guys become the new owners? So that was about three years ago. Nick Schaefer and I talked about it for a few weeks. And decided we'd make a go of it and our wives of course got involved and helped out and, and uh, there's not a square inch of that place that we haven't uh, done something to whether it be simply putting on a coat of paint or putting up new walls and uh, we've also added on some and, and for the next two years we're probably going to keep doing that and COVID kind of slowed us down a little bit and, uh, but it's been an adventure and and uh one thing i would like to say though is those uh the campers that live there have really uh, helped us out a lot step up and help when, when it's needed and, and of course they're some loyal customers so gotta throw a shout out to those guys that's for sure that's awesome 
Yeah, you guys have added a lot of slips there for. Yeah, yeah, it's. Uh, I think we started with about 40, 45 or so, and uh, we've got 90 now, and um, wow. a large part of that is uh, brand new ones, and, and we're going to add some more. It's, it's coming, I'd say, within six months. Um, we hope to have about 20 more slips, and uh, we've got a waiting list. And we're trying to we're trying to go as fast as we can. We're, we're also going to do some uh, work to the parking lot, tar and chip the actual parking area, so the boaters can actually see where they need to park and keep everything running smooth. And, uh, I think that you know I was there on a Friday night, I believe, and it was festive. And you had the food truck was, you know, there was, I mean, just a lot of fun coming off the lake after a day of fishing. Uh, people can get something to eat there, which is, it's awesome. And it's a variety, like you said, of food. Yeah. All right, I'm going to show you how to catch it. I'll tell you right now, Dave, that looks like a concert going on that pile. <laughs> that is a concert. And, uh. See if we can't pick up one of them patrons right there. 22 right. feet. So Dave's curious about like the live scope on the trolling motor. He doesn't know if he likes it or not. So that's funny because everybody's different. And I know a lot of people have adopted the, let's see if we can find Dave coming in here. You know, obviously the independent pull mount. Yeah, I like I, to dedicate, I'm too far off on No, it. you're good, yeah, let it drop. I bet you might grab that guy. Now go, go up high. Go, 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 go. Oh, you, heck, you might have grabbed him. You grabbed him for a second, didn't you? Yeah. So, uh, my... two ways of mounting it, on a trolling motor and on an independent pole. There's yeah. your line right there, you wanna go ahead? And uh, I think it's, a, I always tell people it's a free way to try it on your trolling motor. You can always, it's very easy to switch the transducer back and forth between those two methods. There you are, let it drop. I just find that if you're gonna use your spot lock as much as I do, uh -huh. then I think it would be difficult to fish. Yeah, there you go. Like, right. Out here, and I'll speed up. Remember, you want to intrigue them, and the intrigue them is like speed up and act like you're running. I don't want to pull it away. There's a fine line between pulling. Oh, yeah. Here he comes. Here he comes. Get some. Yes, there is. Uh, but I'll tell you, it away from them, and, and you can get the. I think you get the active fish right off the bat with maybe. Sometimes you can't do it even though the other active, but I, I found that the really running and making it a game. Here we go. See how this guy now watch it. Bring it back, come on, baby. Here he comes. Sometimes I'll drop it right back on him. I don't know whether I've got enough wire in mind to pull that dude up through there like the that us. There I am dropping in folks. I'm gonna whip it around right here. Usually that's enough to intrigue something. And all of a sudden I've lost it again. There it is. Bam! And there it is. Active captain with a little bitty guy. There you are, Pie. Is uh, doing a lot of casting. And so since the last time I fished with Dave, he's recognized that. And some people enjoy it. Sometimes it's not for everybody. But you definitely got to get your timing down, which is these fish right now are sitting all the way down there at 14 foot. So you can see Dave's going down there right now. And it takes a while for it to get down there. And somewhat of a finicky bite, you've got to get it all the way down there. Them. So you're coming right over the top of them now. And there we go. Here's your draw. Boom. Keep going. Boom. Missed it. You tipped it. Yeah, so, if, you know, anytime we see that, at least now, uh, during the summertime, it's a tough time, you know, tough bite. Um, sometimes I'll play the screen. And even though I don't, you did feel it though, it sounds like. Yeah. But uh, I'll play the screen even if I don't feel it. You'll catch those fish. There you go. There you go. Oh, baby. 
Here he comes again. Boom, he got him. <laughs> oh. Hey, had him on there. You that saw that. Nice fish, too. Yeah. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> I wonder what I could do to help that process out of reducing that limit. There you go. There he goes. I only catch the nice ones. Yeah. Dave catches the nice ones. That's, that's the way it's supposed to be. No fine folks. That's a good eating fish. Yeah. No monster, but a good eating fish. Yeah, pretty. The uh, new, the new everything. Now you also, don't you sell minnows too? Yes, we do, and sometimes we've got them, sometimes we don't. It's uh, we sell out pretty quick, and that's one of the main complaints from some of the fishermen. But I can only sell what they bring me. So, um, and I would assume you're concerned about and like temperatures too, as affects what you can. Yes, during the summer, it's tough to keep those shiners alive. Uh, they may bring us 10 pounds and three pounds die in the first, you know, 30 minutes. But uh, that's another thing. Since we've got better air conditioning throughout the place, that's helped a lot. But um, we do sell minnows. So what I've noticed is that you guys are having a lot more entertainment, which is really cool bringing to Lake of Egypt. Yeah, it, it's... Uh, as the years have gone by, and it's only been three years, it's really picked up here the last year because it seems like that's what the customers are after. And, and uh, so we've, we've got bands through the summer just about every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And on Sunday, it's generally in the afternoon and, and get a little different crowd in there on those days. But, um, and it's... <sighs> Friday is usually a small, it might be a single guy or so, or just a couple people, but on Saturdays we try to bring in a bigger band that brings in a, a larger draw, and and um, it the customers seem to be enjoying it. We did, man. We went to one of your concerts on, like, I think it was a Saturday night, and it was packed. It was good. It was energetic. It was some 80s band, and I was like, man, yeah. either way, it's it's festive. They tip, I think that one started around, I want to say 7 o'clock. Yeah, it's generally 7 or 8, and it'll run until about 11 o'clock. Um, we generally don't want them to have the loud music after 11 o'clock because there are campers and people's houses nearby, so we try to limit Get it hard. I missed them. All right, coming in hot. Right here. That's what my buddy always says, coming in hot. Oh, he got it. Now he's got it. <laughs> he, I miss it. You get him. <laughs> good fish, too. Yeah, that's, a better one. that's a good fish. We take that all day long. I take... Yeah, that's a good solid eater. Go show it off there. Let him see it. Oh, yeah. yeah, nice little fish there. So I know Dave's open for suggestions. So on this video, if you have any suggestions for Pyramid Acres, comment below. <laughs> yep. He's obviously very aware of what you guys are thinking and cares about your uh, your thoughts. Really get it away from him. Yeah. Yeah. On cue. It was a good fish. Alright. Alright, there we go. I got a good line. I probably need to add a heavier weight. Wait for it. Yep, there it is. Why does it look a lot bigger on the screen? So we're we're casting to them, we're doing a little pitching, and then Dave even caught one vertical jigging. A little bit of everything, but at the end of the day, it's a good time. Now he's added a heavier weight, so it gets down there a lot faster, which is nice. I'm still playing with a number seven split shot. And I'm waiting all day for it to get down there. 
these particular fish are roughly around 16 feet, so it's a long way down there. You get one playing around, playing around, he gets one. Don't you dare put a heavier weight on. <laughs> <laughs> Dummy. <laughs> you get down there. Oh, uh, your next your next uh, video will be on how to use a heavier weight. Pretty good fish. All right, I'm moving, adding a, adding a weight. <laughs> Waiting. A Folks, I mean, it's just wasted fishing time. I talk about efficiency all the time. I do. I talk about it. And uh, casting too far is. There's wasted fishing time and oh, now go. See that? Oh, I would see that right after that jerk up. The, yeah. yeah. I knew I'd teach you something out here. They already taught me to, <laughs> to use more weight. Dave's always teaching. Yeah. I'm always learning. <laughs> I caught one. Oh, did you get one too now? <laughs> it was probably that hit I just gave you. Scared me. Put Made a vibration jump. on yeah. the pole. Bluegill. Bluegill. You know what's interesting about our home lake is I don't hear much about the bluegill fishing. It's, you can, I mean, it's just not a very impressive sized bluegill. I don't, I just, no. So don't leave yet. We've got a lot more information about Pyramid Acres. Dave's going to actually share with you the future. But during this day, there's, it's, you know, it's kind of, I won't say it's a guide trip, but it's just, you know, two guys going out talking, having a great time. I'm learning a lot about Pyramid Acres, and we just caught a ton of fish. I mean, we really did. We never got on the, the massive, the big, big fish, but we definitely got on a, a lot of great solid eaters. 12 inch was probably the largest fish that we had all day. And, uh, but we caught a lot of fish. We had a lot of good times. I got caught up with, with Dave and learned a lot about Pyramid Acres, just a great facility. So check it out. We're gonna talk about the future now for Pyramid Acres and um, just a great day. Just caught a ton of fish and obviously Bluebird, just weather-wise you couldn't pick a better day. Check out this picture. This is the old active captain right there. If you just bring the camera to the... Mm -hmm. Now it's all tied together. Yeah, all right. What are the future? What do you got going on? Future plans for Pyramid Acres. <laughs> future plans for Pyramid Acres. Well, within 12 months, we hope to add at least 20 more uh, boat slips. And also, we'd like to... <sighs> oh, there's a fish. We'd also like to possibly put in some covered docks. We have a lot a lot of requests for the covered docks right now so that's that is coming for these boat slips and but the main thing is is we're planning on getting rid of the pavilion that we've got and making it at least twice if not three times as big and five or six feet taller and where we've got more room for these bands and ah, entertainment cool. and also we're going to add on to the building um, I would guess it's somewhere around 800 more square feet and uh, just more room. So it's it's coming. Acres growing. We're just working these piles. Still a lot of casting. Haven't really found big fish. A lot of eaters. Which is good. It's fun. He's not familiar with the casting technique, so it's It'll be interesting to see what he feels about it at the end of the day but <laughs> some people you know they they like it some people don't uh, it's just a different different type of style of fishing it's always good to have it in your toolbox though 
Check out this pile, folks, right here. This thing's loaded up right here. Right there. Well, hey, I want to thanks, thanks Dave for coming and fishing with us today and sharing everything about Pyramid Acres. Oh yeah, enjoyed every minute of that. Phone number can they reach you guys at if they want to get a hold of you? Well, Matt, it'd probably be best if you just put it on the screen. That's a fantastic idea, yeah, Dave. That, that way, uh, everybody can have it right in front of them. No problems. You got a lot going on there, and it's a it's a great thing for the lake. So appreciate that it's uh, been an adventure and it's uh, all we're gonna do is keep improving check them out folks well there you go folks we caught a ton of fish we had a great time obviously Dave is a chill guy very cool very laid-back if you want to get a hold of these guys 618-964-1184 check them out they have done so many great things that it just, you gotta experience the food trucks, you've gotta experience some of these concerts. And we talked about a lot of things that didn't make it into this video. Obviously this is one of my longer videos and uh, I just thought it was worth sharing. But there's so much more that you can experience just by visiting Pyramid Acres. And uh, check out their Facebook page, they're always updating what's going on. So thanks Dave, I appreciate it. A lot of fish went in the boat, Till next time. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.